How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. We're going to be going over this 2019 Chevy Tahoe Command Vehicle that we've built for the Woodridge Fire Department. If you want to stay up to date with all of our latest builds, check out our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. What we're going to be looking at first is the vehicle is equipped with the SoundOS Signal Blueprint Electrical System with the 3.0 software. This also features the OBD2 link port that provides all the vehicle signals that allows us to do brake, tail, turn, reverse all these functions so that we're able to customize the vehicle to reduce the amount of work that the customer has to do in order to turn on certain functions and add safety to the vehicle. In the grill, we're going to be looking at four M-Power tricolors. They have the white override feature. On the side, we have the sound off signal four inch M-Powers, also in tricolor with the white override feature. Now what we've done is we put the vehicle into drive response mode and you can see that the headlight flasher that was on Park Hill is now flashing. We've also changed the pattern in the light bar, adding white. This added more visibility while you're responding to an emergency. So on this vehicle, we've equipped it with a 54 inch sound off Enforce light bar that's in dual color. The light bar has full front white. It also has side white. And these provide additional scene lighting when you press the takedown or alley button. Right now you can see the uh, light bar is in the drive response mode, so we have flashing white in the corner. So with the vehicle in park, you can now see that the light bar pattern slowed down and the white is no longer flashing. This is also tied into the flash pattern that's in the side of the vehicle. In the rear side window, we have sound off signal, signal deck grill lights. These are in a dual color configuration in red blue. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we've replaced the reverse lights with a sound off signal hideaway LED. We've also tied this back into the blueprint electrical system. So what we now have is a flashing hideaway. This also gives uh, white when in reverse and it also provides additional scene lighting that's controlled from the blueprint control system. We've also tied in the parking light ring into the blueprint system, which still retains the factory functions and then all flashes sync with the rest of the warning system. Down below, we have sound off signal four inch M powers. These are in tri-color configuration. So they flash red and blue and then you do white when the vehicle is put into reverse the hatch opens or when you press the rear scene button. One of the other features that we've tied into here is that when you press the brake, the lights stop flashing here so that somebody following you can see you. And then along with the turn signal also shuts off the lights. So that way if you're turning and somebody's following you, you can see that you're making a turn. So now with the rear hatch of the vehicle open, you can see that when the rear warning lights are active, the M powers on the rear hatch turn on for rear warning. The M powers on the rear bumper are now in a steady white to illuminate the area. And then we also have the sound off signal strip lights mounted to the rear hatch that come on automatically through the blueprint system. And then one thing that you'll also notice is that you'll see we've recessed the speakers into the uh, rear hatch of the vehicle. So that way it cleans up the whole top here, pro projects the sound downwards at you. So that way you can now differentiate which speaker is talking to help you figure out what radio you're listening to. Looking at the cabinet, there's a custom design cabinet that we built for the customer. It's finished in our sprayed on tough coat. It's got a radio faceplate. We've mounted their flashlight charger. We've given them power ports such as 12 volt and USB. We have the command board that ratchets into multiple positions. This is a magnetic ratcheting command board. We also have a pen storage area here. The drawer features of the Accurite 9308 600 pound lock in lock out drawer slide. So that way when you're working, the drawer won't go in until you release the latch. We also have a large open cubby for an extinguisher, another large open cubby for some medical bags, and we also have a pass-through that allows for a set of irons to be mounted through there. We have a large gear storage area, and then on the back side, we also have additional storage. So now what we're gonna take a look at is our central distribution electrical system for this vehicle. So everything's brought in off the battery and everything else, and then it breaks off from here for power. And then we have remote nodes that's part of the blueprint system that are mounted underneath the hood, and then back here and also in the console. So what you'll see is everything's clearly labeled on our GXL function printed wire. And then what you can also see is we have our fuse panels, our central controller, our breakout box, and our relay system. So this is very easily serviceable and easy to find stuff. We don't like hiding. Uh, fuse panels or anything like that under panels so you can't service it. But what we're going to be looking at is one of our custom angled series consoles. What we've done is we've reintegrated the factory USB and audio jack for the sound system. We've mounted their two customer supplied radios and then we've also mounted the sound off signal blueprint uh, remote controller here and then we've also added armrests, a small pen storage and cup holders 
And then if you take a look up top of the headliner, we've recessed their radio speakers into the headliner. This does the same thing as we said before, was it projects the sound down at you and helps you differentiate between which radio is talking. Okay, so on this blueprint system, we have an arrow stick built into the back of the light bar. This is a three position, so it does left, right, and then center out. We have our front takedown, our left alley, right alley. We have our rear scene, we cruise the vehicle, so we have the ability to, to dim and put on steady all the warning lights on the vehicle. We also have the ability to dim all the warning lights to a 60% power. And then we've also equipped this vehicle with an ignition override, which allows you to remove the key and let the vehicle run. And the vehicle is not able to be uh, shifted into gear. All of our vehicle electrical system starts with a breaker that allows you to disconnect all the electronics that we've added to the vehicle. This is good for when the vehicle is going into service, the vehicle is going to sit for a long time especially when you're also going to jump start a vehicle or this vehicle but this vehicle it has a battery isolated system so it only draws down on the battery that's isolated from the starting battery when the car's off if you like what you see check out our website www.1075vehicles.com and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you thanks for checking out our video and don't forget to follow us on instagram facebook and youtube leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel we appreciate your attention and support thank you